fight. When I yell break, don't punch after the break. Take a step back. Three knock-ons in a round, and the fight's over. Do you understand? Touch gloves. Joe Gotti in the red, and Aaron Smith in the black and burgundy trunks. Gotti, the Canadian, now living in Jersey City, who takes a 10-2 and two record into this fight with eight knockouts. A former Canadian Golden Gloves champion, hailing originally from Montreal, and now he faces Aaron Smith out of Gaithersburg, Maryland, just 20 miles out of Washington, D.C., originally from South Carolina. Smith, a record of 5-4-1 and one, with one knockout, but he owns a big victory against a Canadian fighter, Donnie Poole, who he beat in six rounds. And there goes Smith down. And quickly up, it did not count as a knockdown, but that will. Referee Ron Orrick right on top of the scene. And that was from those left hooks from Joe Getty. Getty's sister, Annetta, Anna Maria, is married to Davey Hilton. That looked a little bit like Hilton with the big left hook. There they are again. Well, there could be a reason why. Certainly, Gotti has spent uh, much time around the Hilton brothers trying to put this away quickly. Last fight for Gotti was a... Eight-round decision win over a guy by the name of Granati Mackie Loon. And now it is all Gotti. Very closely sticks the referee, Ron Orrick. Now coming back is Aaron Smith here on the first round. Oh, a big uppercut by Smith, and Gotti goes down. Just what Smith needed to do. He had to get busy. Gotti looked over to his corner and signaled, no, I'm okay. In the first minute and a half, each fighter has been down. And Aaron Smith piling on. Gotti in deep trouble. Now both fighters have to worry about punching themselves out. Still the first round, but an explosive opening round for these two. They're scheduled for eight. Smith was caught early off to the slow start. Gotti perhaps uh, may have gotten too careless. Smith owns just one knockout in his 10 fights. But Aaron Smith said, I've had a hard life in boxing. Says, I get it the hard way, I earn it. Getting up off the deck. Now he's got control of his first round. For Gotti, now he needs to get busy. Start throwing that left hook. Now Smith will run into it. Here's as if Joe Gotti is cut around the left eye. Both falling away. Gotti runs into a left by Smith. Oh, the right hand from Aaron Smith. Gotti is reaching for that hook now. Not trying to set it up. Cannot be saved by the bell unless it's the last round. Ten seconds to go, and now Gotti is coming on. Boy, a lot of power in that left hook from Gotti. We'll be back with that fight, but... Round number two, it is scheduled for eight middleweights. Aaron Smith in the burgundy and black. 5-4-1 with one knockout. He's 6-1, 159. Joe Gotti in the red trunks. 10-2 with eight knockouts. 5'11 and 159 pounds. They each have been down in the first round. Smith going first, Gotti going second. Now, one of Gotti's two defeats, he was stopped in the first round. A devastating defeat to Donnie Giron. And he is almost stopped again here in the first against a guy who's not known as a knockout puncher, Aaron Smith. He is tall and lanky, an awkward fighter. Likes to dart in and out. And now referee Ron Orrick taking some of the excessive teeth off of the glove of Aaron Smith. You know, Joe Gotti started off that first round, and he scored well early. That comes from his amateur background. He had a 98-14 record in the amateur. Canadian National Golden Gloves champ. Brother-in-law of Davy Hilton, as uh, Sean had alluded to, 
Early in his career, Gotti appearing on many of the Hilton undercards, also served as a chief sparring partner for the Hilton, so you're not surprised when you certainly see uh, a resemblance to their fighting style. Well, his sister Anna Marie used to take him to the gym when he was young, only eight years old. So he's been around this fight game for a good long while. That amateur experience showed because he survived the barrage of punches from Smith. This looked like it would be a short one with uh, Joe Gotti adding another knockout and a victory. There he plants the left into the midsection of Smith. But Aaron Smith demonstrating his resiliency. Smith's biggest win was against Donnie Poole. Poole was 36 and 3 with 27 knockouts entering that fight. He said he was in good shape for that fight. He just took it to him like he was going to take it to Gotti in this fight. But he allowed for Gotti to set the pace, then he came back. Gotti gets in and gets out. Gotti's last fight going up against a war horse for eight rounds and Renati Mackie Loon. Aaron Smith last couple of fights. He lost an eight-round decision to 17-0 Dan Sherry. That was last October. And the fight before that against a hot prospect and whack. And he went the distance, losing that one in six. And he admitted against Sherry he was just out of shape. Against Mackie, he had six foot five. I couldn't reach him. Settling down in the second round after a wild first three minutes in which each fighter hit the deck. They both wanted to try to establish the pace in that first round. They both wanted to set the command of this fight. But with two fighters like these two, they both had the ability to come back. They've shown us that. In a scheduled parade, these are middleweights. Aaron Smith falling away, not known actually as a big puncher. But you know, Aaron Smith landed with that uppercut. That's when he knocked Gotti down in the first round list. We haven't seen any oh, more of those uppercuts. Smith Get is down. now hurt. Gotti's sensing it. Look at all these right hooks. Oh, another big right. Smith is cut on the left ear. And it is stopped. Ron Orrit stepping between the two. He almost got right. his block knocked off. But Aaron Smith, no complaints. As this one is stopped, Joe Gotti comes off the canvas in the first to win it in the third. And the crowd not too pleased that that fight was stopped. Five, two, third down. Well, you know you've got a real fighter when he gets up off the deck to come back and win a fight. Shows a lot of guts from Joe Gotti. The 23-year-old goes to 11 and 2, recording his ninth knockout, and this is where it ended. Sean Smith uh, looking somewhat uh, defensive, defenseless, and Smith showing a little signs of being weariness here. Gaddy saw it, tightened up a little bit. He moved on the inside and closed the show. And what is Ron Orrit thinking right now? Right here, Ron Orrit is thinking. How many more of those right hands is this kid going to get hit with? Cut inside the ear on the left side is Aaron Smith. 